An update now tonight on last week's ICE raids in Mississippi. Search warrants allege that the targeted companies knowingly hired undocumented immigrants. So why haven't the companies been charged? Manuel Bohorkas has the answer that was given to CBS News. The evidence against the five poultry companies includes instances of workers wearing electronic monitoring ankle bracelets like those federal authorities place on immigrants without work permits and another worker who used an assumed name who was told to quit and reapply. 680 workers were detained in last week's raids. Employers can be fined up to nearly $20,000 per undocumented worker. It's unclear if that has happened, but CBS News has learned undocumented workers have started receiving fines, like this one for nearly $500. CBS News contributor Maria Elena Salinas sat down with Mike Hurst, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Mississippi. So you knew that these employers were hiring undocumented immigrants. Why have any of them been prosecuted? Well, in these type of investigations, part of it is executing these criminal search warrants. So you can guarantee that in the future, whether it takes weeks or months, that the employers who hired these particular workers will be prosecuted and will be in jail? I can guarantee we will investigate this case, and if we get evidence beyond a reasonable doubt, mm -hmm. the employers and owners will be prosecuted. Companies in Mississippi are required to use the E-Verify federal database to screen new hires, but according to the affidavits, investigators say they found dozens of instances where that did not happen. Nora? Manuel Borges, thank you.